Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This reading is titled, What You Need to Know. What you need to know at this time, messages from your guides. Um, let's get started. These messages are general, so please take what resonates for you. Okay, we're starting with Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is... Um, hmm. This is a balance of give and take. So there's an energy of balance here regarding giving and taking. Uh, the skills here, this person is holding a skill that is balanced. So you may be a philanthropist, you may work with some people or maybe wherever you are, you give. There may be a relationship here as well that is in question or a past relationship or a connection. But whatever this is, there is an there's the topic of balance or the lack of it in this situation eight of wands so some fast movement someone may want to give to you here the hanged man pisces energy page of pentacles an offer of money coming in or a kind of offer a uh, page of pentacles could be like news of money the pentacle is first like money health earth but whatever this is it's like a news this is a messenger so someone is bringing in a message or this could be a message about this ace of wands with six of pentacles okay i feel like there could be a connection here that has cost you a lot of imbalance so this is also another card of breadcrumbing given little of attention energy intimacy with the ace of wands this could be intimacy uh but whatever this is they've given you enough and they feel it's enough and then there's also something to do with satisfaction so the bare minimum, eight of wands, three of wands, hmm. waiting, whatever you're waiting for is coming in fast. Let's get more about this. What is this? Knight of swords, some communication. You're waiting for communication to come in from someone. It's coming. It could be a text message, a phone call. The hanged one, seven of wands. So this is someone that may have been defensive in the past and they are changing their approach. Like there's something to do with defensiveness, defensiveness and a change. A change of that so a situation where you were defensive you're dropping them down or this person is it feels like this person queen of swords okay and then page of pentacles we have the chariot an energy of travel there's someone traveling towards you or wanting to travel towards you uh, this person has definitely brought offers but these offers have not been like steady or solid offers this is not a solid offer this could be just like a phone call where you get it and that's it so uh, it takes a long time before this person comes back around this person wants to come towards you now I feel like this is important as well. The 8 plus 3 is 11 one, so that is 2 ones. Whatever this is, there is no direction here. There is no direction. And the Queen of Swords is bringing in truth to you, like you yourself are this Queen of Swords. It's like you're bringing in truth regarding something. Or there may be an air sign here as well. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Three of Cups. 
So this is regarding some friendship here. The Three of Cups can also point towards like a third party situation where someone is being treated as a friend. Someone may be seen as a friend. This could be a friend circle, a social circle. Or you see this person as a friend or you saw this person as a friend. Queen of Wands. So that is your heightened magnetism. The Fool is... It's like where you would take a leap of faith or leap towards something like prancing. You're needing to go with grace regarding something. Like move with grace, with poise, in order to see the truth or to speak truth in something, a situation. Like to stand your ground, to communicate. It's like communicating something that you want with this Three of Cups and Seven of Wands. It's like whatever the situation is, you couldn't, not like you couldn't, like not having the power, but sometimes when we are around a group of people, we may feel the need to drop down our ourselves in order to belong because it's a human need, right? So it's a human need for belonging that I'm getting here and then coming back to your truth again and again in this situation. If you're waiting for something, it's coming in fast. This could be a kind of a, maybe something that you're waiting for here. It could be to do with work, money. Yeah, it's coming in very fast. Okay. Six of pentacles and ace of ace of wands we have judgment a major awakening so you're making a judgment call here i will summarize this reading there's a situation here it could be a workplace a love connection um could be a family situation depending i always see like depending on your placement depending on the situation this will apply differently so the pentacles are to do with earth energy well-being people money finances and then how politics come in when we deal with when there are more than two people in a situation then politics sets in okay and the divine also comes in especially when you are you know going with your truth and going with your intuition now this feels like there's something coming in for you could be a revelation like you're seeing something more clearly because whatever the situation is, they do have, like there's imbalance. They feel like they're giving you or they made you feel like they were giving to you more than you were giving to them. You felt like it was balanced. So it was like an illusion they were put in. It's, uh, it's mildly abusive if you ask me because it's like an abnormal use of something. And judgment and ace of wands is awakening. So you're having a major awakening regarding something. Now, as you have this major awakening, this this could become in some kind of communication. I feel like the Knight of Swords could also be something that is happening here, where you are, you're seeing something on TV or even a reading. And then, Queen of Swords. With this is you changing your perspective. And then building your boundaries in this situation. And then we have Page of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, let's see what is happening here. Five of Cups. So I feel like the Five of Cups is healing. It's a healing process. A change. Number five. And then with the Chariot being here, five plus two. So it's it's like you're moving in your balance in the midst of the process of healing. You're seeing something, a situation, a group for who they really are. Because your vision was clouded because of uh, something. There was a clouding of vision, a kind of a subconscious process that was going on. And there is a waking up that is happening. 
but this is a, a success you're driving towards your success you could apply this as a past present or something that is coming in i feel like it's all of the above it feels like a story something that is unfolding six of cups unfolding remembering who you are you're remembering something big someone that used your they missed they may have used your innocence to their advantage and you didn't even see it gemini but that is because of the stage that you were in as well okay no it's like there's nothing to be conflicted or to beat up yourself here but it's more of like even being more compassionate with, with yourself we can always be more compassionate with ourselves it's never enough yeah i feel like this is something to do with your compassion with self and then your memory being returned about an unfair treatment you're walking away from this eight plus three four Mm, okay eight plus three four i don't know where i got that five plus three is eight four cups is actually refusing something you may be rejecting something here okay i look up and i see eleven twenty two. so that is all together six moving in your balance purpose i know what i'm here to do yeah i'm going with your purpose doubt i release the need to know all the answers yeah this is a lot to do with your self-compassion journey like when something is not clear keep going and it will come to you it will keep unfolding keep going with your intuition it feels like that is what you're doing here gemini okay so let's see guardian angel you are not alone and it's coming together with three of cups so your guides are celebrating you here. Well done. Hmm. 105 is guardian angel number six. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember they are working hard to guide you. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So, know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds, Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. This five of cups is also giving this person situation. They're grieving something and there's not much you can do to help them. I see five, six, so there may be a water sign here, Scorpio, especially. Um, but yeah, this person is in, in a state of something that they're not really, so they're not looking back to see these two cups. All right, Jem, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to stop here for now and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.